Hey guys, welcome back to another Platinum walkthrough. This is for Oddworld Soulstorm. And let me just take you through my settings first that I use for this game. And then I'll explain the intro sort of during the first cutscene. So I raise the gamma level a little bit just so it's a bit lighter in the dark areas. Gameplay, you want difficulty on easy because then you can actually slap enemies. If it's not on easy, you can't. And in controls, yes, I turn off the speaker, vibration, touchpad, and the adaptive triggers. Just because they're supposed to make it more immersive, but they just make the game more awkward to play personally and they distract me. So I turn all that off, but you definitely want it on easy, guys, just so you can slap the enemies. Now, there's a lot of buggy trophies here. Most of them have been sort of fixed. There's one or two that's still quite a bit buggy. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take you through the optimal route here to platinum. And I mean, I'm hoping. It pops all the trophies. There's only sort of one which we're sort of unsure of now, and that's the two pure for this world trophy. Completing the game and kill less than 100 slugs. That's the only one that's a bit hit and miss. Sometimes it'll pop, sometimes it won't. I'm hoping by the time I get to the end, it's been fixed. And if you're watching this video way after it's been uploaded, I mean, it should be fine for you anyway. I'll update anything new that comes out or any new information. I'll lob it in the description, guys. That I, you know, didn't have time to put in the video because it wasn't released. But yeah, everything should work. I'm hoping it does. I'm taking it through optimal way. It's gonna be no deaths, no deaths, killing all the Madokans, letting, well, not killing any slick. We're not gonna kill any slick at all, probably for this whole walkthrough. Because the way I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do one ending, then sort of go back, get ready for the other ending. But the trophy for killing less than 100 slugs, it pops on the final ending we do. So all the way through, we're going to have to kill less than 100. And it's it's in order to eliminate every possible risk as well that might make it bug. We're just going to try and be as clean as we can with that trophy. And hopefully it will pop. And it should be popped. It, well, sorry, it should be fixed by the time we get to it anyway. Um... But, yes, this is it. I'll explain everything else as we go along. And this first level, luckily it's the only one. You have to deal with no damage. So if you do take damage, reloading checkpoint will not reset it. It will still be registered. What you need to do is close app. So if you take damage, guys, close app. Or every time you hit checkpoint, re uh, make a backup, sorry. Make a backup safe. And then restore it. Yeah, restore it. That's on this first level. And then after that, we've got to do every level without dying. So we've got to do this first level, no damage and no deaths. And then every other level after that will be no deaths as well. But it'll be similar to what we're going to do. We're going to close up every time we take damage to reset the damage. And that's basically how you reset the deaths. There is a little like um, streamer mode in game. It shows you how many deaths. So you can keep an eye on whether the game is registered, you're deaf or not. And you do get an icon at the end of a level anyway. But I'll explain everything else as we go through. As long as you follow me, I'll explain it all as we go along anyway. I try not to lob it all on you at once. Because it's a platformer, sort of. I guess they, I think they call it like a 2.9D platformer. But there's quite a lot of mechanics here. And it's quite the controls are quite clunky. So we'll take some getting used to. But that's it for my intro, guys. Let's get into this game. The first level. The raid on Monsake. I think you call it, I think that's how you pronounce it. But let's get into it, guys. Here we are, guys, the first level. So I'm putting streamer mode on, and what that does, it shows you your current time and Madokon's rescued, but it also shows you how many devs you've got registered, and that's why it's great. So I'm going to leave that on, and you may want to check it from time to time. Just make sure your devs is on zero, it's a good way to check. So when you first come down here, watch that huge falling rock. If you run too fast, you may run straight into it. And remember, if you do die, guys, just quickly close the app and then continue, and it'll bring you back to your last checkpoint. You need to be fast here to avoid that fire. Just run straight and jump. There are checkpoints, by the way, which I've just passed. And be careful here. Now here, I'm hiding behind the bricks until the slicks stop firing. Then we'll quickly jump into the next one. You need to be careful of their fire because it can very easily hit you, sort of random based. 
We just got a, a royal jelly. That's a collectible for a bottle. And I'm actually interacting with all these little trash bins here. Because there's a badge related for interacting with 20. That's it. Scavenger. So we're going to interact with all of these. Even though we're going to have four bottles in a second. We need to interact with every single one. So it counts towards the scavenger badge guys. So water. Water. You use it to put out fires obviously. I don't think I need to tell you that. Well I hope not anyway. And you can also use it to... Uh, knock out, uh, not Madugons, uh, Sligs. You can use it to knock out Sligs. It's probably like a last resort sort of thing because it's not good, but it does knock them out for a few seconds. Now, there's a trash bin just there. I jumped up and got a royal jelly. We rolled underneath here. Got that trash bin there. And that royal jelly. And when you're climbing up here, guys, obviously watch out for the fire and then falling spike balls. Yeah, watch this big rock coming down. I almost ran into it. Yeah, because there's no damage, you can't take any damage. You know if you take damage, f able flash red, sort of. You should notice it. Then maybe if you take like a little touch, a little slither of damage, you may not notice it. So just try to keep an eye on Abe and his colour. So there's a trash bin just below me. And by the way, there's way more trash bins on this level than what you need. I think that's about 30 or something. I actually get 20 and then I get about 6 more, 5 or 6 more, so don't worry if you miss 1 or 2 which I grab, don't think shit I've got to go back to that, don't worry, we're going to get a few more than what we need. So these monkey bars, they are a pain in the backside, you're going to love these by the end of the game, well probably by the end of this level you're going to love them, but yeah across these monkey bars, yeah another trash bin here, another trash bin, and yeah long here. And they're going to drop down and another checkpoint. They come over here. Yeah, these brick walls are a good sign that it's going to be a slick shooting at you in the distance. And watch out full damage, by the way. And full damage. If you do a double jump, it breaks full damage. So you can drop from height and then do another jump and it'll break with full damage. And the slicks in the background, they'll normally shoot six times, six bursts of fire, and then they reload. So you can use that as like a... If you want to wait for an opening, a good opening, just wait for them five, six times, they'll reload and then you can get by. But don't stand in one place because the bricks do slowly get destroyed behind. And here, this one's really tricky. He always seems to catch me, so I always try and take my time with it. I took a little tiny bit of damage there, if you've seen. So I quickly closed the app and reloaded to reset that damage. Now, you need to lob water down the bottom here because there's royal jelly just down there in the corner. What I do, I wait for the signal in the background to walk away to the left because normally he won't shoot at you then. And you need to be quick because once he turns around to come right again, he'll start shooting. Now this next bit, you need to sort of jump onto the platform in the middle, but you need to be quick before it falls down. So you need that to reach the monkey bar there. And um, getting between the last two monkey bars, it sometimes I can do it, sometimes I don't. So what you want to do is jump on that platform quickly before it drops down. So you want to quickly jump on that platform and use it to jump to the third monkey bar there. So some more trash bins here and be careful dropping down because there will be fire below you. So just make sure if there is fire directly below you drop some water or if you're unsure drop some water anyway like I just did. So a few more trash bins here. There's one here and two down below and you should get some brew now. Yeah them crates just below you see them. And what brew does, it's sort of like a flammable liquid. I mean, it's really tasty as well. But you don't want to be tasting it. Abe needs to be on top form. So brew, yeah, you lob it at fire. And that's what it does. And you can also kill slicks. If you lob it on a slick and it covers their body, and then they walk into one of them sort of fires in the background, like there, it's like a little um, thing on fire. Well, I don't know what it is, a rock, I don't know. Some Probably some coal there, I don't know. <laughs> But um, if they walk into that or next to it, when they've got brew on them, it will set them on fire and kill them. So you've got to be really careful. We can't kill any slicks in this run, by the way, unless sort of I advise that you have to kill them here. But that's what this guide is for. I can tell you what we need to kill and what we can get past without killing. So whatever you do, try not to kill any slicks, guys. And if you do kill slicks by accident anywhere, there's no slicks in this level, by the way. Yeah, if you do kill slicks, close up. Or if you want to be sure, because closing up, I, 
it resets deaths, but I can't be sure if it resets kills just because there's no counter for it really. We can see deaths because we have that counter on screen right now. So if you want to be sure when you kill a slick, back out and restore your save. If you just want to be sure. I'm, I'm going to close that myself and just hope it works. Thing is this trophy is the one for completing the game, killing less than a thousand slicks. Yes, yeah, Royal Jelly there guys, make sure you click that. Yeah, sorry if I'm forgetting to mention a few things, but you can see me here and I'm just trying to explain it as we go along. Yeah, but we should be okay. We're not going to kill many slicks and I'm going to close up and stuff when we when we do. And so I'm hoping we'll be okay. So yeah, put this uh, fire out. You saw that slick in the background, so be careful of its gunfire. And like I say, if you do get shot, just back out. And there's a secret here again, some royal jelly. Yeah, secret area found. These secret areas, if you don't sort of pass, it's like a sort of invisible invisible line. If you don't pass it, the secret area trigger won't appear. So just make sure you head into the secret area enough so it actually triggers as a secret area. You don't want to do that. Run into a secret area, then run straight back out without realizing you didn't actually trigger the secret area prompt. So down here, yeah, another wall. A uh, rock just fell down. I'm going to jump up here. Checkpoint there. And we're almost near the end. This one's quite its quite a quick uh, level, really. I mean, we have to do it without damage for a trophy. But some more fire here. So I'm just standing behind the wall, so I'm sort of in safety. Yeah, because there he is. Bastard slig in the background. And this one's really tricky. Yeah, I took damage there. So that was just me quickly closing up. And I cut it out. I actually didn't do too bad here. On a lot of uh, playthroughs before, I've died so I've, well. I've got damaged so many times, but I'm getting that trash bin. And the uh, Madokons on this one, by the way, you automatically save them. There's nothing you can do. Yeah, they're automatically saved. So yeah, always jump in between the fire. And this one here be very tricky because when you get in that trash bin on the left here, he can still catch you with his gunfire. It sort of bends around the wall. So you may even want to just leave that one because. We don't need it anyway. So it's checkpoint now. Get that checkpoint first. Get that trash bin. Get this royal jelly. And then get this trash bin underneath. And then I roll underneath this wall here. And put the fire out. Get that. I think that might be the last royal jelly. We'll find out in a second. And then up here. Up here. Down. Yes, that's the last royal jelly, guys. So that should be 11 off 11. Yeah. A lot of levels you'll find they have extra royal jellies from what you need, but most of them will have exactly enough, like this one. So right near the end now. So one more secret at the top left there. So what I'm doing here, I did jump up, but I jumped back down again. I figured I'm going to get this thing on fire ready. So when I, the time I get back down, that wall has already burnt down. Yeah, last secret area here, and we've already done the ex, uh, scavenger tro uh, badge. Scavenger badge, not a trophy. Yeah, actually, I missed that where we got 20, but hopefully you saw it. Yeah, I'm probably talking, looking at something else, and I didn't see the um, badge pop showing that we've got 20 of 20. But we did get plenty, so it should be fine with the scavenger. So I put this fire out, and we've just got like a little sort of escape sequence. It's only like a mini one. Yes, I did die a few times on this. The monkey bars kept messing up. I kept missing them somehow. Yeah, these monkey bars are very, very clunky. Where is it? It's coming up. It's coming up. There it is. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there. Yep. Yeah. That's what happened. That's what happened. See, I, I pressed jump. And he just... I don't know what happens. This happens with a lot of the jumps in the game. They're really weird. How they've sort of... Um, made it how you control and how Abe collides with them. I don't know. It's all weird, the detection of everything. But you'll get used to it as you play a game, guys. With the monkey bars and... Grabbing, on, grabbing onto ledges. Sometimes, if you press jump when you're too far away, you sort of won't hit it properly. But if you wait until your first jump takes you close to it and then press the double jump button, normally he'll like lock onto it and grab it. But some, there seems to be like a sort of a... I, I don't know what to call it, like a, a, a brief area where if you press it in the wrong moment, he just won't grab it at all. Even though he's sort of is within range. I don't know. Hopefully they'll get it fixed within time. Yeah, so that's it, guys. 
level one, the raid on Monsiak. We got him two trophies, the one for doing it with no damage and the one for doing your first positive uh, Kwame level. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video guys.